All right, hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm back. The two videos, the one live stream, the video before that. Glad you guys saw it because those type of videos I just don't keep up for long. I show my true emotion, and uh, my blood pressure was fucking high. I thought I was gonna die. Um, someone said I should be the coordinator. I absolutely agree with that because these dumb cunts that we have as coordinators don't know what the fuck they're doing. So, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and say this right now, and I'm going to be the voice of reason. Jalen Hurts sucks. Now, let me elaborate on that before you fucking pit, bitch and moan. He sucks. For $250 million, not his rookie deal, for $250 million, I was expecting this guy to take a step up. He didn't even come close to what he did last year. That basically means that he got paid he took it and ran. At this point, I would rather have Carson Wentz as he is right now. Because Carson Wentz at least, at least has a QB mind. Jalen Hurts, his best play is literally getting pushed into the end zone from behind because he has strong legs. Can't run anymore. His arm is a noodle. Can't throw. Can't throw long. Can't make accurate throws. Can't read. Can't read blitzes. The guy is fucking terrible. And we're paying him Lamar Jackson money. The guy can't even run anymore. That's why we gave him the contract. Because the way he uses legs matched up perfectly with his arm game. Now, he doesn't have legs anymore. And his arm game was never that good to begin with. So now we're stuck with this pile of slop for $250 million. And you could say, oh, it's because the coaches failed him. It's because the coaches failed him. I'm sorry. When you're getting paid $250 million, you need to be a natural. You need to say, fuck the coaches. My game's better than any coaching that could coach me. I'm going to do my thing. I'm the type of person that would move on from Jalen Hurts right now. But unfortunately, our smart-ass GM it put us in cap hell for the last two years of his deal. So who the hell, after seeing how he played this year would put him on a team like a, like a Chicago, like an Arizona, like someone that would like a, a mobile quarterback that got to the Super Bowl with less talent. No offensive line, no game, no special playmakers like A.J. Brown, Devonta Smith, Swift, Goddard, and old Julio Jones, I get it. You have all of these true talented players and you just take a big old shit down the road because you're not a natural you need everything gifted towards you you guys want to talk about Nick Foles having a great team that's why he won with all the pieces around him yeah guess what he won he won you know what Jalen Hurts did fumble Ruski in front of Casper the fucking ghost and we lost the game now we're never gonna get back we're not, we're not even gonna sniff it you know who's going to win this year? And I'm confident saying this. The Buffalo Bills because Josh Allen is a fucking stud. Pocket passer that can actually run. When he has to. Not when he reads it as his first read. Oh, let's run. Because that's what we're supposed to do as a quarterback. Run. It's a fucking joke. And then you have all these stupid ass Jalen Hurts supporters thinking he's better than God. They're going to hang on to last year like it's... like. He does this every year. He was awful this year. I would take the 2021 season over this year. That's how bad he was this year. I'm not going to even say it was an average season. For what we had, for the type of playmakers we had, he was awful. Terrible. And the one game-winning touchdown that he had this year was with his feet. It was in overtime. Just give me a fucking break. You guys are a fucking joke. And I don't give a shit who dislikes this. Fuck you. I was always right. You were wrong. Deal with it. Fuck off. I'm so sick of this shit. And at the end of the day, I am going to have a podcast. I'm sorry for the people that have been looking out for it. I've just been really fucking busy. I've had no time. Maybe I'll do it tonight. I don't know. But a Nitro freaking podcast needs to come up because I need a lot to say. But that said, I'm out. Listen, I think Sirianni stays. He ain't the problem. And um, do not, do not, do not promote Brian Johnson because he's hurts his boy. It'll piss me off even more. So with that said, I'm out. Bye.